hello viewers thanks for, for watching my previous videos and this video has started on the financial management so now we'll start for the present value and the future value so we can see the net present value irr and all actually what motivated me to do the video was when i was watching a video on financial management for time value from pm tycoon so an average student would find it difficult like me to understand it so the formulas are simple but still we need to do something uh, more easy to understand the formulas and in way instead of memorizing it so there are different sums in this video I will, there's a link below please uh, see that video if you want to have more details so how to calculate it it's already been calculated but the same thing i have done in through microsoft excel so what i'll be covering is this video will be having a future value calculation this is the formula and how it's been summed up then the present value calculations and uh, net present value irr and the solutions so so the better understanding let's see that relationship of present value this is the formula and how uh, i tried to make it very simple and uh, smart way so it's very easy to understand so let's start with the future value actually what actually is the future value so if you have uh, money in your bank or if you have cash in hand so if you want to invest in a project so if you can see that the value which i'm going to use them my finance is going to give me the right returns so as it's a simple scheme it is a very simple way to understand it so first of all if you see that you have thousand dollars and what is going to be future value so you can see the number of years to be calculated so if the percentage of return suppose you think you will be getting a 10 percent returns and the formula is the formula actually uh, the formula is fv is equals to present value 1 to the power of k k is the discounted rate and n is the number of years so you can see that for every year how much i am going to get the answer so 1 will be 1 so r will be 1 plus r so it will be 1 plus this is going to be like 1 plus so it's going to be 1.1 the number of years so number of years i will be trying to make it from here so that we can have a drop down list till this can be till 15 years so to west way is i do data validation and now i can check check for each year so the power of formula which has been we can use in two ways the power of formula how to use the power of formula to calculate the number of years is if this is going to be like equal to this to the power of so you can see shift you can see the top one two three you can see the six so in six they have a power of formula so you can have shift and and select that and 9 so this is the power of formula so again if you want to same for a formula if you find it difficult to make out you can do it through the power of formula also so you can see equal to power comma this We get the same answer so this is the same formula in a two different way now how to calculate the how to calculate the formula actually is the so if it is made for 12 years now if you just want to see that if i am investing a thousand dollars and how much the value will be if i'm getting a 10 percent returns after 12 years so that is a simple calculation actually but we have we can make an easily you can make this multiplied by 
this so this is the answer so this is this is how we get the answer so this is a normal formula you have to make a break and actually this formula was very difficult to understand if you're just relying on the slides so this is the way you have to break it so it can be easily understood number of years you can change it as you wish so for 10 years so the same thing i will be doing in an excel formula so it is like fv future value open parenthesis the rate of discount so this is my discount rate comma and my net percent for this is for the year comma this is for per month so i don't have anything per month so i'll be going one more comma and the present value so the present value is this but before doing this investment i'll be doing a minus and selecting this because that is a investment this is the cash flow so you can see the answer so this is a simple way you can do a present value in a simple way actually what actually is a present uh, uh, future value from this present value thing what is the future value what i'm trying to tell is this is a, like a fixed deposit scheme now if you have a money and if you make a fixed deposit and the investment is for this thousand bucks and you get the interest rate of 10 percent so what will be your returns so it will be like this multiplied by the interest rate so if you a thousand bucks and if you have a 10 percent so you'll get a return of 100 and the total returns will be like this value plus this so you will be getting a return of 110 again what will happen is you will not be investing 100 dollars again so this has become 1100 dollars so now you will be using the same technique you will be selecting this and then the returns and all so if you see 10 percent and the returns so it will be 110 so now if you do control d so it has been changed so this is what actually is so after 10 100 dollars it, it will be 110 1100 dollars and again you will be investing 1100 dollars you will not be investing again 100 dollars so that is a mistake it's been confusing so if you try to scroll it down and if you try to get this down now you can see the answers so this is as simple as that so actually the total calculation is on this basis so now if you make this as 12 so you can see the values are matching so if you make this as 15 what is going to be after 15 years so you can see this so this is going to be value so if you have a hundred a thousand dollars with you and you keep on investing for 10 year, 10 percent of return of interest the discounted cash flows then at the 15 years you will be achieving it this target so here you will be getting this so this amount will be turned in this way so the, similarly the same thing which can be solved in and uh, this is a normal average formula you know for average excel users so if you are having a something in an expert level so you can see that we can make this also in an expert level in the same way so i will not be wasting this i'll be just to, trying to copy this so here the same way i'll be calculating the years in one two so i'll be pulling this down till 15 years and then the investment as i told you will be thousand and the interest rate ten percent and same as the returns will be this multiplied by this and you know the answer is but the answer here will not be the same so now i'll be using the same set of formula which has been used here so it will be like fv open parenthesis so my investment will be the rate of interest 
my net per will be my first year so there will be no per month so i'll be using commas and i'll be leaving it as it is and then my investment so that will be minus this amount and i will be closing the parenthesis and hitting enter so you can see that but the issue over here is in the previous slide you can see that we had made average ways to just how it goes on calculating up and down but here i am going to make this as it is so i'll be scrolling this down so uh, actually i should have locked this first because now i'm scrolling this down so i want this as it is so even this will be 10 percent and the returns actually the returns actually the returns will be the same but anyhow you can see that the answer is this way so this is an expert formula this is an by an average student and this is a by an expert who can see that so now whenever you try to check this so you can see that the rates are matching so so it's matching so this is a this is a two ways to uh, we can see or maybe there are many different ways I just wanted to show you that how to use the power functions and all those stuff and what actually is the this sort of uh, investment for now if you are taking this as 10 percent but here uh, the issue is that you cannot you cannot you know you cannot keep on changing it if you want to this is a format which is being used by professionals but suppose if your percentage is going down you can just calculate over here or if it's going again if it's going to 12 percent you can calculate over here but that time your rates will not be the same as you see you can see there is a difference so if you have this chart it will be easy for you to uh, segregate the interest rates and all but here you know it's it, yeah, again if you want to do the same thing you have to add some more formulas and all so this is the easy way which i have showed you to check the future value so in my next video i will be showing you how to check the present value now if you have a thousand bucks and if you don't use have don't invest it so what is going to be the value in future so that actually is the video about then we will be covering npv PA, npv irr and uh, other stuffs so keep watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel share this video and please give me a comments on this if you find it easy and please uh, check the video of pm tycoon which i showed you so that uh, you can understand this in a better and easy format so let's see you in the next video thank you